Hello everyone, this is Cypher Deck, and today we're back in EverQuest Project 1999, both on Drachmir and Flipside. So I came up here with Drachmir first because we needed clerics, then we got an abundant of clerics and changed over to Flipsides. Had a lot of fun here tonight. Um, we ended up going all the way up to the area that you would pull um, Inarok, and also was able to get the book for the Rogue Epic, so I'm going to be showing you guys that at the tail end of this video. It was, uh, it was a good night overall. I know some people got some upgrades. There was a pair of shoulders that dropped, if I remember correctly, and they are supposed to be the rare drop for the mob that dropped them. I can't remember what they were called. Also, the... Boots for the Cleric, which I don't know what the quality of those are, but they are still purple. And that is the whole point. Is it not to get a full set of that stuff? I don't know. Anyway, we ended up doing pretty well. We got a really bad pull. Uh, it wasn't anyone's fault. And we all wiped, except for myself, on my Cleric, and also the other Cleric. Maybe one more. But I think the rest of uh, uh, the rest of the raid ended up wiping. After we got everyone up and we got Bully back in shape to tank again, I ended up changing over to Flipside, who of course is my rogue, and then adding to the melee because I think there was uh, two rangers, there was two or three bards. And then there was uh, one rogue. So I went ahead and got on my rogue. And we were able to bust through most of these mobs a whole lot faster. Not saying that's because of me. Just saying it's DPS is DPS. Had um, some hiccups, I think, at the end of the raid. Where we tried to pull the... Oh, what is his name? The something of corruption. Or I may be saying that incorrectly completely. Anyway, he is for the Nature's Defender, and let me tell you about that guy. He uh, he likes to gate and then pull people to him, and as he walks forward, he'll stop a little bit. He'll summon someone, kill him, move up again, <laughs> summon them, kill him. And so we ended up having uh, to do a full camp of the raid so that people could get back uh, get back into the game and res everyone. And we fought for a little bit longer after that, but that that fellow, he uh, he needs he needs to die someday to my hands. He uh, he wasn't a very kind gentleman, or he wasn't a gentleman at all, I guess. So one thing that I ended up doing is we got to the point where we were going upstairs. We got upstairs, and um, I was saying that I wanted to go ahead and get the book for the Rogue Epic. That way I could do the epic completely and then give it to a guild member or give it to a friend or whatever it is. Uh, even if I give it to the guild, I know where the book now spawns. I can come up here anytime with a West Sea cap. Um, also have make sure that you have a um, invis from the wizard and an IVU po uh, potion that you've clicked before they cast that on you. Once you get up here, then all you do is hide sneak. The only thing I think that will actually see through you are the um, the bosses, and I don't even think that happens. I think Maestro and Interrupt do, but I don't think a lot of the others do. Once you get to the book, you pick it up, you click your cap, and then you're back in West Sea, and you're good to go. But it's um it's pretty nice. So you, I mean, you're not going to be seeing my chat, but you will probably see that in a few minutes here, we're going to separate from the raid and go get the book. So that uh that'll be pretty fun. And I think I did it wrong <laughs> because whenever I got the book, I was fine. I reconned. I thought, and this is probably not correct. I thought I recon the mob that was across the way from me to make sure that I was still um, hide sneak or that I re hid before I moved again, something along those lines. Anyway, I ended up getting seen um, and killed, <laughs> which was uh, which was fine. 
I um, I stood there for a moment, just letting it beat me, and I was like, oh, it's not hurting me too fast. Let me go ahead and start milling it, and then I died in battle. It was fun. <laughs> but uh, I wasn't worried about it. Got the book, got um, dragged back up by the rogue that showed me where the book was, and uh, easy peasy. I got a book in my uh, in my inventory now. It was... Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. We had a lot of fun with the raid. Um, we started out with Bully as our tank, and you can see Exodor w ended up being uh, the tank at the end of the raid. He was my main assist, and um, we got a lot of people things that they didn't have before, which is always a cool thing. I don't know if that's what they wanted, or if... Um, or if some of it, I think, rotted because nobody needed it. Like, the enchanters in our guild that were up here, they were pretty well geared. Uh, also, oh, yeah, yeah, there was a, um, I think it was a shoulder item that dropped for Shaman Ixars. And that thing was Beast. Um, I kind of wish my Shaman was an Ixar now, but I'm not going to be changing just for that. I really like my Ogre Shaman. Uh, some videos you may see coming up as far as EverQuest goes. Of course, I kind of slowed down a lot with uh, with my Ranger, but you should start to see uh, videos of my new Warrior that's already level 20. I got on level 20. Thank, uh, thank you to some friends in the guild uh, in um, two days. Uh, well, backstory to that, I, uh, I was playing... Uh, Cybertron, my original warrior, and we got to a point where myself and Chupacabra were talking to each other, and we, uh, I decided to go ahead and re-roll as a dwarf. That way you have the magic resist bonus, and you also have the, um, the strength stamina bonus, but you don't start out with a, um, uh, you don't have bash or slam or anything like that. One thing I was doing on my gnome is I would twist the shield in right as Bash came up so I could slam the mob but switch my weapon back in. Uh, here we are. We're actually going down um, to where the book is. But anyway, you should see some videos of him coming out soon as well. Also, I have a video that will be coming out about a whole YouTube situation that ended up happening to me. Um, it's not fun. And um, we'll, we'll talk about that in that video. But anyway, um, those uh, Hans, I love playing Hans. And that's not the, the problem. The problem is, is that I am trying to actually level mains and things like that now. And Hans takes up a solid day for one video. And it's not that I don't like doing them. I just want to be able to play my mains and... You may see less of those videos, but I will continue to make them. It's not that I have stopped completely. Um, so if you can see where I'm going and keep up with the, the turns that I'm, I'm doing, uh, yeah, that's how you get to the book, friends. <laughs> I was kind of lost, but here it is. Um, on this table, this is the book. You can see I'm looking over at that mob. And I think, stupidly, you can see here, it's, it gave me the book and I didn't have to unhide. And I think, stupidly, I go ahead and unhide and rehide. And, um, I don't know. I don't, I, I'm watching it now for the first time again and I'm trying to see where it went wrong. And it doesn't say that I failed my hide or anything like that. I actually had um, Gina up, so it told me that my hide and sneak were back on and they didn't fail. I don't know. Maybe it was this one mob, but you can see the other rogue uh, made it up fine. They're the ones who ended up getting me back to the, uh, to the room to get rezzed. I don't know. But anyway, we ended up getting the book. And we now are able to uh, continue doing the rest of the epic. I, f I figured there was no reason to start it until I had the book. <laughs> so that's what I wanted to do now is uh, get the epic done. And I'm, I'll show you the whole epic, I think. I don't see why I shouldn't. Uh, of course, the final turn in will not be for my character. 
LB4 or Gildy um, or Fronten.